Hello YouTubers and welcome to Watches Galore. It is cold here in Pennsylvania and as you notice I'm playing it safe. I have the the seat belt on. I'm still getting uh, scolded by some uh, some viewers. Anyway I'm trying to change my ways and I'm gonna throw you a short vid today. I just wanted to tell you uh, one thing I flipped my Borealis Scout Sniper. Yeah, it was it was a tough decision. Um, I really actually did like that watch. It is a tough watch. And uh, I had it in Mexico, if you can remember that. I love the Tritium. Um, it had that uh, NH35 Seiko movement in it, which I really like. Um, a tough watch, 300 meters. On and on and on I could go. I got another band for it, but I sold it to a gentleman I work with. He really liked it, and um, yeah, that's gone. Gone for now. Gone for now, and uh, that money's going towards something else. So I'm, I'm all good with that. Um, second thing, that money's probably going to my Sea Dweller Fund. And I like to ask your opinion on the Sea Dweller 3135 movement. If uh, what you know about it, what you think about it, you know, I've always heard it was a tough movement. I'm hearing different things, and I would just like some input on that if you can. Uh, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my surgeon, and I am getting some surgery done in February, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be down, down and out for a couple of weeks, and uh, not much moving around. Some ankle reconstruction uh, surgery, yeah, torn ligaments and all that jazz, so... And there you know there you know my life is coming up so if you have any video ideas or you know thoughts questions comments please send them my way I would be glad to I would be glad to hear them and get some video dot ideas for uh, for when I'm down so yeah the Borealis is gone bye bye the Rolex 3135 movement and my next thing I wanted to make a little remark on was Mark Bloom, a viewer of mine, he uh, he messaged me one day and um, I did kind of an off-the-wall vid on um, what is too much for a watch. I don't know if any of you remember that. I got a lot of response on it. Uh, you know, some people said 50 grand is the limit. Some people said there's no limit. Some people said depending on your budget. Um, yada, yada, yada. So Mark, you know, he, he, he's not a Rolex hater. He's not a Rolex hater. He's, he's a cool guy. But he, um, he kind of brought up the point, look, if there's not Rolex name on the watch, would you buy it? Would you buy it? if it didn't have the Rolex name on it, but it was just as good as a Rolex. I think you've made the remark, you know, some people or some of his friends would not even trade their Rolex for a, for a Jegula Cultra for the simple fact that his friends wouldn't even know what that is. So is that important to you to have a big name on your watch. He even brought up the point if he would win a Submariner in a raffle, he'd sell it and get as many $800 good, good $800 watches as he could. Because he did bring up a good point uh, earlier in our chat. He said um, that, you know, there are a ton of watches out there 
that are really good for 200 bucks and less. Seiko, Orient, on and on. There are some good brands out there for the money. But I wanted your thoughts on it. I thought it was kind of a, 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 cool, a cool thought. A cool thought. If you would buy a winter Rolex, would you get rid of it and buy, you know, 10 other watches for a thousand bucks a piece? Anyway, that's my vid today, a short vid. I just wanted to come at you, let you know I'm still around. It's been busy, you know, tis the season. And I got uh, Christmas shopping and uh, traffic and family get togethers and all kinds of good stuff. So I'll be back. Let me know what you think. Have a great day and stay well.